everybody, Carl Schuf here from Snorkel.tv, and today I want to show you how to make really cool, slick gradients that are super smooth with Animate CC. All right, the beauty of this file is that I can just select one solid shape and change its tint, and I can preview all these really cool gradient effects. Ah, that is really beautiful. And the secret to this, let me just press this button here, is that I'm overlaying two other tinted gradients on top of that solid color. So I can unlock some layers here, I can move this color around, and I can even tint that gradient. And it's important to note that we have the blend mode add on there, and we just get some really nice, crazy effects that you would never get just with the gradient transform tool. So if you want to find out how I built this file, jump on in, watch the full video, see you inside. Alright, so here in Animate I have a very simple file open. I have a movie clip with a solid color. So I'm going to go into edit it, and now I'm going to fill it with a gradient, alright? So let's go over to my color mixer, and I'm going to start by just using one of the default radial gradients. Ah. Alright, so I usually tell folks the best gradients are usually so subtle you don't even know they're there. So what I might do is for the first color, I'll start with you know something like that blue I had before. And then the second color, I'll just sort of make a copy of it. And in the, uh, the far one over here, I'll just like maybe bring down the brightness just a touch. And now it's really hard to see what's happening with this sort of dot matrix pattern that selects that shape. So to the rescue is Command Shift E. Ah, beautiful. So now I can adjust that color and actually see what's happening sort of in real time. So here I have, let's go right, oh, where are you? Ah, there we go, a nice subtle gradient, okay? And I might also hit F for the uh, gradient transform tool. And I like to sort of offset those things a little bit and maybe grow it out. I really don't like seeing, you know, any banding at all. Let's go a little bit bigger. There we go. All right. So there we have it. Nice, subtle gradient. We'll go back to scene one and we can just marvel at how nice it is. Okay. Now the thing is, suppose I was like, oh, you know what? I want to do this, but with maybe a deeper red. Oh, you know what? Okay. Let me uh, maybe duplicate that symbol or maybe I'll go in and edit it again. Command Shift E to have it selected, but I don't see that pattern. Go back to my palette, you know, select uh, like a deep red like that, maybe select it again over here. And then for the second one, I'll make it a little bit deeper. Oh, so subtle, so nice and good, all right? So if I wanted to maybe have an orange color somewhere in the middle here, you know, again, go back in, Command Shift E, color palette. Um, I could add a new swatch in here and, you know, I don't know, add something a little bit brighter, like some yellow. Ah, kind of horrendous, all right? And you can, you know, move that around and uh, do all sorts of stuff. But I want to make much better and more subtle gradient effects, all right? So what we're going to do is revert this back to a solid color. Let's just go to uh, bump, 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 bump. We'll start with that sort of blue that we had originally. And so now the trick is we are going to overlay gradients on top of this color and blend the colors. So let me show you how that's done. Back in scene one, I'm just going to go to my library. You see we have this solid symbol here. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm just going to do an option drag to make a copy of it. And let's just do a duplicate symbol, duplicate symbol. Where are you? You are down here. And we're just going to call this gradient, hit OK. And I'm going to cut it out, go to this gradient layer I already have, Command Shift V to paste it in place. And now I'm going to edit it. So let's zoom back in a little bit. I'm going to select that shape. And I'm going to do a Command Shift E so that I don't see those dots. And we'll go add a gradient. We'll start with the default one here. And in this case, I'm going to say that I'm going to start with maybe a 50% white and I'm gonna go out to zero white. So I'll select this swatch here. We'll crank up to white, but the alpha we're gonna bring down to zero. So now I have this nice subtle fade out to totally transparency. And again, I'm gonna hit 
F here, so I can just move that down a little bit. You know, I don't know, just sort of play with it. Maybe bring it down to there, whatever. Go back to scene one, and now let me zoom out, and I'm gonna take the gradient, and I'm going to, again, it's in its own layer on top of the solid color, and I'm gonna put it on top. And we'll use our align panel to make it perfect, perfect. There we go. So now I sort of have that effect of a lighter blue fading into a darker blue. It's nice and subtle and cool. But let's go to the properties panel and I'm going to change the blending to be add, okay? And then you see that it's sort of, you know, it just punches it out a little bit more. It's a brighter effect. At normal, it's almost a little bit washed out, if you will. But using add, we get a little bit more punch in it, okay? And what I can do from this point is I can select that gradient and I can also go to its alpha and I can play with it a little bit and it's much easier to adjust, you know, the brightness of that effect, so to speak. So here I have just one gradient that's white sitting on top of a solid color. And what I can do here is I can lock that layer and if I select the solid color shape it's then very easy for me to go and change the tint and I can just get these really quick previews of how different colors are going to look so if I get something sort of like I don't know this really beautiful orange gradient going on here I can then go back to the gradient scale it move it around a little bit so let's do some stuff now I'm going to, going to unlock the gradient layer. We'll option click on that and I can select it and let's just transform it a little bit, all right? Maybe it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Maybe we do one of these jobbies, all right? And we just sort of, you know, blow it out a little bit. Now where the real fun comes in is that I'm going to take this gradient down here. I'm going to copy it, use a little command C action, go to my gradient top layer, command shift V to paste it in. And whoa, look at that double add job there. Um, I'm just gonna pick it up and I'm going to do a little flipperoo. And I can now bring this up top here. And now we start getting some very interesting effects that we're not going to get using any other means, all right? They blend in very nicely. Whoa, look at that. So what I can do here is go really kind of nuts. And on the top one, I can you know, bring it alpha up, I can bring it down a little bit, and I could also do a, a tint change. You ready for this? So now I'm going to change the tint there. I'm gonna introduce maybe this deepish uh, purple color and bring it down a little bit. Uh, maybe something a little, I'm sorry, maybe something around here, okay? So you start to get the idea that we're now introducing these new colors. Now it looks a little bit messy with all this bleed here, so let me just uh, click this button, boom, and there we go. Look at how nice that's starting to be, okay? Now you may notice there's sort of a hard edge here, all right, on this symbol. I think I'm gonna have to go into my library and just double click on the gradient, and let me zoom out a touch, and it's gonna be very hard to see on a white background here. So let me just go to my properties panel real quick, and change the background of the movie to be black. All right, there we go. So what I'm gonna do inside the symbol is just make sure that it sort of bleeds out fully before it gets to those edges there, okay? Go back to scene one, aha, looks a little bit better. Nice, so here I can take this symbol, I can move it anywhere I want. Let's zoom out, do an old Q to scale it and transform it. And now I have these pretty cool gradients, whoops, options, click, that I can just move around and make all these nice little subtle changes. And I may love this color right here, but again, I can go very quickly into the background solid color, which is orange, and just sort of mess, whoa, look at that. You know, we get all these really nice cool effects that A, we may have never been able to dream of on our own, and if we were just experimenting the old school way, it would take us forever to sort of stumble into these much nicer effects. Let's go over here. I like this a bit. I'm going to uh, select this bottom gradient here and let's go over to the tint and I'm gonna mess around with something again, like add some red in there. Look at that, all right, very subtle and nice. 
this one up here, let me unlock that layer. I'm going to uh, introduce a little brighter color there. And again, we can move that down. Yeah, we can play with the scale. We can rotate it a little bit and just get all this nice, subtle, yummy goodness of gradients blending together. All right, so um, that's the basic theory. Start off with, one, with a solid color in your background and then overlay these sort of semi-transparent gradients on top and mess with the blend modes. Over in my uh, finished file here, I have a few favorites that I came up with, all right? So we can just go through them real quick. Ah, look at that. We got this guy here. We got something a bit darker. Ah, so subtle and nice. And then we have that as well. So let's just go into this one. And you wanna know how it's built? No problem. We're just going to show everything off stage. Whoa, what's that? Let's zoom out a little bit. So I have these massive big gradients uh, being overlaid and you're just seeing them blend in so nicely. Let's go back to the first one. It's just a very subtle gradient down at the bottom. Second one, oh, look at this. You know, I can move this around and just sort of play with how it looks. Go to this keyframe. Oh, you would never would have guessed, you know, this is how it's made. Let's zoom in and you have this red and green being blended, but we're gonna hide that stuff and it looks so nice, all right? So if you like this effect right here, you can just, you know, option click to uh, lock other layers, select the bottom gradient, and you can see that it has a tint of, you know, bright red, and you can mess with these colors all you want. You know, you can get such nice, subtle changes and get it to match your style exactly how you want, and it's not gonna take you forever. So once you set things up, again, it's really easy to just select this background solid shape and go to its uh, tint and just experiment, all right? Ooh, that's kinda, yeah. But I love this color down here. Let's change the top, where are you? Gradient top, select that color, and maybe something a little more blue will serve our purpose. And again, very nice. And the great thing is, is that you can experiment very quickly. You don't see any banding. No one's gonna even guess that you're using radial gradients really here. Um, and again, just a lot of fun. So hopefully you learned something, download the file and play around. See you around. Hey, what's up? Real quick, if you liked the video, please consider giving a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna get notified when new videos come out, just click that little bell. Ding dong. If you got any comments, leave them below. I'll read every one and do my best to help you. Have an awesome day. Ooh,